at the end of a previous video I showed how to uh, quickly import the Oracle 23 AI uh, virtual machine and have that up and running and being able to use it so it's still running so uh, and we need to have it running to be able to kind of connect to it now in order to connect to it I've shown how you can go into the virtual machine and use the SQL command line to be able to connect to the database but sometimes what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to use something like um, like Visual Studio. Now there's a, a an Oracle SQL developer uh, extension so once we've kind of connected onto that uh, or installed that connection what we can do is we can create a new connection to our database. So what we can do here we say is say uh, Oracle if I can spell it correctly Oracle 23 AI um, say virtual machine and then we can start putting in some of the other information so just like what we used before we're going to do system so this isn't the user that you would use for your everyday usage you'd need to create a new schema for it and uh, we're going to put in system a password is oracle based on what we saw previously and we can put it in uh, and then the other things is is we need to say where to find it which is going to be localhost port is going to be that and then the service name and the service name we go back here again and maybe scroll up we get to see that it's um the or the pluggable name is going to be a free uh, pdb one okay so once we enter that we can do a quick test to see if it works okay so the connection worked so what we can do is we can save it so it's there kind of for our future use and then when we uh, connect into it and um, we can just double click on it okay and uh, once we get the kind of connection symbol we're all good now one of the things I, I made a mistake here is that we should actually change the label of it to include um, the schema that you're actually attached to so as we're uh, connected to it we can't edit it so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just disconnect uh, we'll go to the edit symbol and what we're going to do is maybe change that to just put in the schema because you could have lots of schemas there so uh, we'll save that uh, we can double click or we can right click uh, and get what we need to do all right uh, so we're all ready to go to be able to start doing things so we can open up a new SQL worksheet and just like what we did is in uh, the virtual machine using SQL command line we can put in different commands uh, oh, that's auto complete we Just um, let us just run that, and we get to see the results being displayed down here. So we, we know we're connected. So that's a simple way of being able to connect it in. Now, another thing that you may want to do is create another um, user, all right? So which is probably going to be doing all your work in. So we can scroll down because remember, we're in as the database manager or the owner admin kind of what and you can see there's lots of different schemas there most of those you're never going to touch they're, they're just there for kind of useful kind of purposes uh, but what we can do is we can use that to um, create new users and, and stuff like that which I'll show in a different video